sense. Hello, everyone. Got some time tonight. Family's out. Excuse me. Thought we'd finish the Call of Duty chopper that I was working on. Give me half a second here. Whoops, whoops, whoops. Boy, did I mess that up. Boy, I'm just all over the map here. All right. So who is, who's with me since uh, I couldn't see who joined when I was bumping around. Got a drink. I'm good to go. Green tumbler. The invisible drink. Hey, Dwayne. How you doing? Want to finish my uh, Call of Duty chopper. Do I even have that set up? Oh, I don't know if I do, but I'm not going to leave it on. But let's see. Whoops, whoops. Mad clicking here. There's the figures. Don't know if I got my autofocus set right on those. Either way, we're going to work on two cameras, not three. quite parched so when I last stopped I think it was actually a week ago I'd gotten I did the secondary build first I did the figures I did skid I did the uh, the tent the communications tent and then I went and built the chopper because I was trying to reduce the uh, number of trays I had out But yeah, let's, uh, I'm actually going to move this for now. Uh, I tell you, I was not expecting some of this stuff to be so big. And the figures. It'll just give me a little bit more room. Oh wow, really whited out my background taking those out. Now, I did have a problem. Uh, I had left out my trays as you see them, and my cat, literally, I had discovered had scooped out some of the parts because I found them on my desk. I was uh, quite upset, to be sure. I think I found them uh, all. So we're going to do our level best to... Uh, power on and of course since it's been almost a week I will need to reacquaint myself as to where everything is really do need to put that on an extension but um, yeah it was not cool I had finished the wings on the chopper the anti-armor helicopter I mean, isn't it a Black Hawk? I think it is. Uh, I've got no fans, so I'm trying to keep the noise down. 
one by six and a two by six. Oh, I hope I don't butcher this too bad, but uh, welcome Fanade, Fanadi. Please forgive me. I'm assuming it's Spanish. I know what the mega blocks and the mega constructs. I have a fair Spanish following. All right. How about we follow the instructions? Hey, dum dum. Ah. Oh. Oh, and I didn't even follow them before. It wanted two of those. Plan is to take advantage of the next. Oh, great. There's a chopper overhead. Cute. Don't know if you can pick it up. Hey, Mark. You building anything tonight? I'm trying to finish my anti-armor helicopter, which I've left idle for about a week. I am the worst procrastinator. Hence my backlog of 200 sets, 200 plus sets. I am really bad. Not, not Mega Bloks, of course. There's maybe six Call of Duty sets now in my backlog. 200 plus in the Lego. Some of those though, won't get built until I'm probably retired. For no other reason than I just don't have the time. Okay, I'm assuming that's a gray bar. One by two with bar. Okay. I will have to gain new muscle memory as to where my parts are. Pretty sure it's that and not a black one. And it's a solid, not one with holes. Okay. So, welcome to the stream, Owain. Hope I got that right. And forgive my sniffles. I have more allergies and such than I care to to divulge having a cat that I don't want does not help two one by twos two of these And, uh, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where's my slopies? All my curved stuff. Should be the taller bits. Looks like it's the taller bits. And then after I build this chopper, um, I'm not sure which one I'll build next. I've got at least four major Call of Duty builds. And I want to say, well, in one small pack. Figure pack of astronauts. There's turbine type parts. It's so just one of those. All right. Um, a fancy grill piece. One of those. And I'm going to need a pointed slope type.
which may or may not be easy to find. Oh boy, did I, I gotta think about what I put there. I used the black and I don't know if that's correct. I'll bet you it's not. Because I found a gray, oops. So I'm going to put that one back and I'm going to use that one there. That's the problem with some of these. They're just so hard to tell. I still haven't found the one I'm looking for. But I just did. Nope. So close. Oh, this kills me. Thought for sure I saw it. Now I gotta check and double check. Because it's a one by one with two cheese wedge slopes to it. And of course, I don't think there's a Lego equivalent. So that's going to be like super bad. Okay, well, first problem is it's not black, and I'm looking in black. Duh. Yeah, that's definitely what we call a duh moment. Yeah, there it is. Ah, the frustration of uh, these mega blocks trying to determine their color. Okay, so this is off to one side. Okay, which is going to be here. Very good clutch, I'll tell you. Not disappointing at all. And it's just going on top. Apparently it's just going on top. Don't know what it is. And that was step 48. All right, soft brown tube. Silver joining piece. Or lighter gray joining piece. Oh God. And I worry about those so much. Now, what color? Okay, it looks like it's going to be one of those. I always worry about anything that uses like these pneumatic tubes. Because, of course, someday they're going to dry rot and split. It's not if, it's when. If it was Lego, I would just order more ahead of time. But this is not Lego. And I don't think it's going to be terribly easy for me to get more of these. So that's going to go in there, which I like. Looks good.
Don't know if I like the color of the tube. I think if I was building on my own, I would modify that. That looks good. So three of these with holes, presumably all light silver. These are the square ones, so it should be that. Now I'm going to say a gray tile, and if I'm wrong, no, it's not a gray tile. That's a jumper. Lots of gray tiles. Now, do I have these in? No. I'm trying to tell. No, that's not it. This could be it, though, because that looks black. I need two studs. One, two. And... Let's see, when it comes to the round stuff, where did I see two? There they are. Okay, there's two together. Okay, apparently I can't follow instructions. I'm gonna put that there. I had taken too many. Hey Ryan. Were you around when I was experimenting with Twitch? I'm officially a Twitch streamer. No, it wasn't a bad experience but again i'm uh, handcuffed by the power oh wow look how light that is i'm super washed let's see is there anything i can do about that on the fly Probably not. Probably not. I am not a hundred percent clear, but this looks like it goes there. Okay. I hate when you build stuff and it don't quite fit. Oh my god. Oh. Mega, I'm going to kill you. There is an easy fix for this. I just got to. There. If we space these out. There. There's enough resistance there. That'll be fine. And two of these, and then those on top. So you at home, Ryan, or are you at work? I'm not sure what that is yet, but that's kind of cool. 51. Lots of black parts. Cool. Two of those. Two of 
two of those. Where's my wedges? One, two, or my cheese slopes. I think people like calling them that. Cheese slopes. And a black. One by two. Nope. Yeah. Hey, Dan. I snuck in the back door, did you? And hello to any and all of the, my new friends from the domain. I'll link afterwards to it. I figure it's only fair since I've been sharing or spamming to them. All day. They seem to be enjoying some of my stuff. One of those. Man, is it humid here. Maybe I should turn the fan on. Oosh. I used the wrong part. And yes, I did. And yes, I did. So let's see if I can figure out. There, that one's wrong. That's too bad. Oh, come on. Oh, why you gotta be like that? And that should be on this side. That's interesting because now I'm starting to think I'm missing another piece. Nope, that one was gapped. Okay. There we go. Cool. That's looking really slick right now. Well, I guess we'll figure out how those bend afterwards. Hey, Trevor. What you building tonight? Anything? Now with these tiles. I'm building with one of those. I'll leave those there for now. Three of these bad boys. And since that's a gray, there must be a bin here that's got three. Maybe that. That. That should got a lot of these. I tell you, I'm not kidding. My nose is crazy itchy. I hate not being 100% clear, but it looks like it's this. Ooh. I 
I do like the prints though. Let's see, one by six, one by six, and those two by two with bars that I put back earlier, and two of these little, boy, I'm just leaning all over the manual, increasing, increasing the crap out of it. And probably two of these guys. One by one with a slight cheese slope. Hey, oi. If I've got this right, these are going to go here. There's definitely a lot of space. Ugh, specialized parts in Mega. I just don't like this. This is... That part's not fun. Which one of these wedgies? Not this one. This one. And a weird two to one piece. And a one by six tile. And a one stud. So we're continuing to build on here. Looks like this guy's gonna be hanging off. One's going to go here. Like that. And nice. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Not that tile. I need. Two of these smoother tiles. <sighs> By the way, when you're building this chopper, there's a cool little feature here, a little play piece, little hatches that you hide. I, I love stuff like that. Just great, great little details. Wow, I tell you. And in HD, you guys are going to see all of that. Not a pet free home, unfortunately. No. I'm still here. Two of these. Where, where am I up to? So if I have this, they want me to put two on here. Sometimes the scariest moment is when you're building two assemblies. Attaching two assemblies together. So what are they expecting here? I'd ex they expect, oh, geez, really? Okay, that's cool. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Again, gives you some play functionality. You're sitting there repairing the engines. These are the uh, air intake. I love it. I love it. That is slick. And that would, I guess, be the direction arrow. Two tiles. These aren't printed, right? 
Nope. Okay, so I can just take any two of these. Whatever makes the most sense. Cover this up. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh. Ooh. Why? Why is that a problem? Something popped up. See, I would fill that with pieces if I was mocking. Because that, that should have just come up way too easy. That's okay, though. That's not a, it's not a game breaker, a deal breaker, so to speak. Okay, rounded clips. Okay, so now I'm basically building the other one. I mean, that one's pretty much done, I can see. Let's see how good my memory is as to where everything is now. This should go easier. Let's see. Silver dot. Gray. Where are you? Nobody. Does it like you? And I know I need more. One of those. Hey, Ian. Hi, Nicholas. Welcome to the stream. Come say hi. Tell me what you're building. If it's other than English, even I'll take a crack at it, maybe, and see what you're saying. I can't use translate while I'm streaming, sadly. Sadly, I cannot. And then two one by twos. Two more of these. And two more of these. Okay, now the super hard part. Finding... Are you my double? Nope, not you. The chopper? Yeah. Although the actual chopper builds the same as last time. Well, actually, you bailed. You didn't get to see this far, I think, last time. Oh, my knee is killing me. Oh. One by two. One by this. Another one of, let's see, these. Uh, another turbo. One of you and one of you. The tube. Stud, square pig with bar, square plate, sorry. One, two, three. Another, let's see, another one of those. Tile, tube, mm -hmm. okay, that one's black, which means it should be over here. Yep, 
if I can find it and if I haven't made a mistake. There we go. Perfect. Okay, that's a little worrisome. That's clearly a black one by two, but if I need to, I'll do it in Lego. I will just have to get up to do it in Lego. Because I'm not seeing it there. Two more of these. Two of these. One by two in black, but this is the wrong one. All right. Hey, Audrey, how you doing? Building anything today? I'm just going to blank my headshot because I need to find a part. Boom. Okay. That's not looking black, that's looking gray. Now the tricky part, where? In all my millions of pieces, this isn't going to be that hard. I'm still hoping that it's just right here, but truth is it's not. But a black one by two mega block plate. See, they're close, but they're not. That's still marbleized. Okay, one second. One second. Yeah, I check a million little pull drawers. That should be one of the most common pieces I've got. That's close. And you'll know, hear that moment when I spot it. Black is my most common part of my wall. I love building with it. But admittedly, There we go. We'll use one Lego bit. And if I find it, I can swap it out. Chances are I've used a black where I shouldn't, and I'm going to have a weird number of grays left. There. Let's bring me back. Shazam! Look at that, I'm invisible. I think I got all the pieces out for what I'm doing here. All righty. Where is the other cup? I pulled out all the pieces for the page just because since I've done it once, it should be faster. 
should feel like second nature. Where's the bar? See, and of course this time we are building counter to what we did earlier. Two more of these on the back side. Gray plate there. I mean, that's I'm I'm pretty sure that's what I've done. Is somewhere I've used a block where I shouldn't have. Boom. Boom. Okay, so I got that part of the build. Now we're going to do that air intake. The brick. And this, uh, this time it's going to be offset to this end. Okay, this is going to be the gray one here. Double slope there. One gray. And one by two would bar. Starting to take shape. Tube. Not always the easiest to thread onto these bits. Should get a bunch of these in black though, or other key colors. It's not a bad building technique. There we go. Oh, I'll never get that out. One square. Plate. Hey, Angel. How you doing tonight? One of these. One of these. And we'll build this opposite this time. See if it goes on easier. Not that it was hard last time, but I fought with it needlessly. Well, that's just a lot darker. Let's swap that out for the lighter one. Just looks better. How about this one? Yeah, see, I kept them light. All right. And... Did I only grab one? Maybe I only grabbed one. Now I also got to get this on the right way, just to this side, oh, one that side, I 
another stud because apparently I missed that the first time. Plate. And apparently I'm so dumb I missed it twice in the same stud. Black grill type plate. Okay, and here I am building so it feels like I have missed a couple of steps here. One, two, haven't used that yet I gotta remember how to go after Mega for the uh, missing part I know it's common but I paid for the set. I want my piece. Okay, so that's going up. All right. We're almost finished book one. But we're also half finished book two because of the uh, way I did the out of order build. Mm -hmm. Two, three. And you watch, as soon as I'm done, I'm going to find those parts. Hey, Ace, how you doing? Building anything tonight? I am building the anti-armor helicopter from Call of Duty from 2016. And so far... It's a wicked build. I cannot complain. Two of these. All right. And then I get to assemble them on the chopper. Seems fair. Seems good. One, two. Although one part I hate is these brackets. I don't like this particular piece from Mega Blocks. Not a fan. I'm sure they had a design decision reason. But I don't like how hollowed out they are just feels cheap so we've got that now we're going to take this and oh I never did get those two by two wood bars that we hang them off here like this and then we put these little Oh, come on, stay on, be good. Tile across the top. We bolt that in there. Go 
goes there. Definitely easier the second time around. When you half know what you're doing. So we got this. Where's our build? Here's our build. And now the moment of truth. If I did it right, it'll go together good. Ooh, bad, 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 maybe bad. How should that look? Ah, uh, maybe over. Yeah, it makes more sense. And I haven't put those plates on yet either. These two cover all this up. That looks great. Engine exposed, thruster, whatever. Very cool. I assume they're both supposed to be up. Nice. All right. So, based on that part of the build, yay, we're back to putting something on the chopper. That looks like it should sit there. One stud offset. Ooh, that is nice. That is really nice. Just worry about it all exploding in my hands with the amount of force I'm applying. Oh, or doing something like that. I wish there was more than two studs holding that on, but this part looks great. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. That is beautiful. And does that finish book one? That finishes book one. Now, like I said, the good news is I half did book two when I did a sort because, look at this, of the 31 pages, the first, oh, let's say the first 18, not even. First 17 is the chopper, and that's all we're doing. So, sweet. I'm going to be very careful here. Got the chopper upside down now. Now this worries me because we're doing all the tiny, tiny little things. Let's see, watch these scatter. I hate this stuff. That's four. Five, come on. Six. Seven, eight. Six of these tiny little green monsters. Sixteen of these, eh? So, two, three, 
two, four, six, eight, half of those, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Eight of these T pipes. And then whatever is left, I should need to. And hopefully, I got enough of everything I'm supposed to. I am hot. It is so humid here in Toronto. I am not kidding. Nose jokes. Really? That is very interesting. If that's supposed to be in black, I could be in trouble. Because there's, oh, look at that, I buried it. Didn't even notice. And now these tiny, tiny little, these are the worst parts. I couldn't even fabricate that if I wanted to. Six, eight. So I gotta make a bunch of these, what are they, stinger missiles or something? All right. Okay, so we're going to do pin up. And the cap. Not a fan of those caps. Okay, nice one. And I just got to assembly line it now. Just keep doing this till we got no more. Easy enough little build. Oh. Just as I was saying that it gets harder. Feels like it's off, but so there we go. And to think all those years that when I encountered Mega Block stuff, we used to toss them out or give them away. And now I'm realizing, realizing like, hey, some of the stuff is pretty cool. So. 
some of it was pretty cool. I was so upset watching that Raptors game the other night, guys. But you know what? That's just par for the course this year. The year sucks. Sports suck. No matter who wins, there's going to be like an asterisk beside it. Shortened season. It's all BS. And we're almost done the assembly of the uh, missiles or rockets here. Very nice. So. Now I need to put four. on each pylon tell you my OCD is already kicking in see that that annoys me you can't push push try this again you can't push both sides all the way in because the peg is too long now fortunately you don't have to push them all the way in but you do want to be consistent okay that's one and I'll put that on probably on the chopper itself Ooh, see, that's the first one. I worry about that. Now, I do have solutions for that. If people remember, I have these tiny little bits of rubber band. And what you do is you, you try you try you put a little piece of rubber band on and then when you push that piece on it won't come off now here's the trick you got to get it actually to stay on and you can't just sh stick it in here because then it gets pushed down to the end we can try though Yeah, that's what I'm afraid of. I don't want it to be visible. Yeah, let's try again. Okay. That's not actually a horrible solution. That one's pretty good. That one's pretty good. That one could probably use a tiny little bit. I don't like to use glue. Okay, that was no help whatsoever. Might be too much. <laughs> Something in between the first little bit and the second little bit. That one might be perfect. 
just enough to fill some space. Oh my God. You know, when it works, it works well. But then it doesn't work and you look silly. See, here is not working so well. Because <sighs> usually what I try and do is you balance it on the piece. But I think I'm actually, with my heavy breathing, I'm actually blowing it off. This is where cellophane is sometimes better. You wrap it once with the cellophane on the end, or even the slightest piece of tape, because I've done that too. Just take a tiny little bit of tape. Just enough to add some thickness. Ooh, it's too thick. Too much tape. Ooh, 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 ooh. Don't want to lose anything there. So, too much tape. How about... Just a bit less tape. And do I have my snips here? I probably don't. Sharp knife will do. Let's see how well that works. But, you know, there were band work for the other ones. So, I mean, that's okay, too. I don't know if I'll ever get it off, but it's on. And of course, hey, Christoph, how you doing? Didn't see you sneaking in there. I'm just doing some preventative maintenance on the missile heads so I don't lose them. Because they're not terribly replaceable. I don't have Lego equivalents. That one's loose. That one's loose. What can we do? Struggle. One more time. Jeez, there's like no friction there whatsoever. As long as it don't split, that'll never come off. See the rubber band? Just the tiny, tiny little bits. Awesome. That's why I don't throw out dead rubber bands, especially the thin ones. Good gap fillers. Because I don't want to use glue. I mean, I've always got it. It's always handy. But glue with a brick set should never, 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 never be an option. Oh, 
Okay, so I like that. We got two of those going. All right, I gotta stop procrastinating here. So, oh. see, this is why this was dumb. I'm sitting here trying to push it on with the missiles all fully loaded. Just feels dumb. We have this one, so let's do this one now. All right, now which which is which? If I do that, nice. Now, of course, now I'm not going to be able to put it back on. <laughs> now, handling it just got a little more tricky. Okay. We're still upside down. But look at this. That's so mean looking. Come on, Lego. You got to give us, you got to start giving us something like this. There should be no field in which Mega Blocks beats you. Hmm. So let's see, we got some wheels here. Let's start spreading out some of this stuff. Okay, so let's start pulling out the launcher equipment. Two of those. Two of these. I assume the gray ones, since I only have gray ones. Don't want them rolling away. 14 of these really tiny missiles. I just grabbed them all. I assume three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So that's always a good sign. I need two of the. Now they're supposed to be different. ones with the holes in them I'm sure I'm sure it's the ones with the holes in them and round tiles too all right now I need to build two launchers one two let's see back of that piece three not the greatest uh, stud connection there I don't even have a good solution for that there's really just no grip doesn't grip there hopefully the center missile will help lock it in Let's see. Yeah. If anything, the center one feels like it goes in too far. Is there actual holes for them to mount? No, don't look like it. 
So a solution I would have for that is to maybe put maybe some sort of foam in there. But if you put foam in there, you'll never get it out. So I don't know how good an idea that is. So as you can see, these, I mean, that kind of sort of clicks in, but yeah, I mean, that ain't great. It's got nothing to do with the back, so there's nothing you could do to help that there. So, I'm not thrilled with that. See? Uh, not good, not good, not good. I, mean, I don't even see why that one would stick out so much. I mean, I get why. See, that kind of sticks it down there. But I don't see any reason. Let's see, is this hooked up to the battery at all? I want to see inside. And this is very bright. Here we go. Hmm. If you do it just right, you know that sea foam, that sea foam uh, that modelers use, you shove some of that in there and the missiles into that. They won't move. They shouldn't. Curious what would happen if I started just it's supposed to be six. I just freely pushing them in here. I don't know if this is better or not. They're more even. We'll see in a minute. Yeah, that I don't like. Oh, almost. So that one's too far over. See, one doesn't want to sit in. What a pain. If anyone's got a suggestion, I would love to hear it. Because right now, this is giving me the red butt. Oh, I finally get it in, but another one pops out. You know what? We got to put the piece on and see how we fare. Well, let's see if we hold it straight up and down. See, that didn't go in at all. That one did. God, come on. And you got nothing to grip it with either, you know? See that? It just doesn't want to go. I'm just 
going to keep trying to push it in. Otherwise, I will cheat. I'll shave the butt and I will glue it in. This can't be that hard. Okay, let's try the other one. Because that's just ridiculous. If only they all went in so easy, like the first one. So you can feel how some misalign. And half of them dump out on the first attempt to get them right. And again, it's one. And it's a different hole, so it's, it's not consistent. So if I do this, and push them all in. Center one's already more recessed, so it's not the problem. If I take that off. Oy, come on. This is just wretched horrible. It's not that easy, is it? Yeah, that's just dumb. Oh my god. Is there any help with me using my pliers here? No. Oi, come on. See, it still doesn't stay in. How can this be? How can this be? With no specialized instructions. Nope. Because that don't help at all. Nope. Okay, here's something. 
What if I took everything out? So you can feel how well that fits. Wow, see they're all in there. Let's not put the center one in. I got a theory. Okay, see that fits good. Bet you it's always just whatever the last one is. Okay, so here's the last one, which is a different position. I think I had a dream about this and how much of a pain in the butt this was. This feels like deja vu. See, it seems like the last one, no matter which one it is. I mean, I just can't even get it all the way in. And it's near that hole. Ah, <sighs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what if it's just, could it, see it's not, Something don't feel right now. Look at this. I got half of them knocked out now. Not even kidding. This is not fun. Oh. And now that one don't want to go in. It's enough to make you cry. I mean, now it looks like there's two of them that aren't going in. Or more. See, I could feel that click.
Oh my god, did I actually do it? Wow. Couldn't tell you what I did different. Okay. Well, they're all in. Just going to keep pulling it out, trying to realign it, see if something happens. Because I couldn't tell you what I did different there. I assure you, nothing I did felt different. This is so ridiculous. You make a custom part, it doesn't even... I mean, what if I spent 10 minutes on this part? Here, take them all out, try again. There's no rhyme or reason to the shit not working. So it's funny, it just pops off. Mega blocks, this is horrible. Try alternating the sides like a steering, like a car tire. Okay, that don't feel right. That seems wrong. That one's clearly cockeyed. Mm. Okay, here goes. Nope. Nope. That's wanting no part of going in there. None. Frankly, doesn't want any part of going in there on either one of them. How can it be so bad? I'd love to see someone else's build of this because this is nonsense. Guarantee you I will never take this apart. See, it doesn't want to fit in there that way either. I don't want to shave these down. I'm 
killing my thumb, my fingers. Be funny if they're not actually supposed to go in that far and then that that's the problem but see right now it's that hole because I can't get anything to behave and that's the center one but like these two here I cannot get that to behave whatsoever. I mean, at this point, if I get it on an angle, I'd be happy. Trust me, if I had two more missiles, I'd be cutting these down. See, that one's clearly on a bad angle. And it just makes me wonder if that's part of the problem. It should just fit straight in, right? Come on. So close. I felt like something. All right, we're back down to one not fitting. We're so close. And they all look straight. Well, except for this one again. But this is quite, quite ridiculous. Oh, and I'm only using the tool because I can't continue to push with my thumb. I will have no finger for work. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pull this one out again. And this one out again. Since I'm convinced they're interfering with each other. Okay, see, so that one's in now. Oh my God. 
That is so ridiculous. I am going to put hot glue down there. I'm sorry. That is just too much. I'm literally going to pop the cap, hot glue it, put it all back. It should never be that bad. Nope. That is just not right. I bet you that was 10 minutes and I'll have to edit that out of my footage. That is just crazy. And even with me using a tool, I butchered my hand. Butchered. Wow. I will never get that amount of time back. So, if we do this. All right, so I got my two launchers, which are now going to go where? On the ends, on the very ends. <laughs> Only two studs were holding that in, so I'm not shocked that finally popped off. Wow, that looks so nice. And I'm glad they're not flick fire or some other stupid nonsense. And we'll push these in there. It might pop off again, but I'm not concerned about it. Okay, I need to create some landing gear now. Oh, I can't even feel my fingers. This is horrible. Um, four. Four of these, and hopefully that's all I need, because this was one of the ones that my cat was missing with. Two. This worries me a lot. Because I don't have a replacement for that part. Oh, two of those. Two of those, four of those. Let's see. For something that kind of looks like a Technic pin. Actually, you know what's funny? I kind of do have a replacement, but it came for something else, I think. I've got one there. Let's see. If it was not here, then I will check. Unless I'm wrong and what they're really looking for is this. Actually, that's very possible. Well, no, it's not. What am I doing? Oh, that's got a pin in it. Okay, so now I'm super confused. And 
And if it is that, then what? That's a different color one. But that is different altogether. All right. Finish a big feed of roast chicken, potatoes, and fresh garden. I got no one to cook for me tonight. And what's worse, I sent my daughter out to Dairy Queen before they took off. And she got me the wrong blizzard, and I told her to dump it. <laughs> because she thought enough to call me after she bought it and ask, Is this okay? And it's like, no, it's not okay. I asked for a raspberry one. And I said, you made sure you got what you wanted. She got me a Smarties one. So when she got home, I said, you can toss it. But daddy, no, you can toss it. You're a dumbass. You are a dumbass. And then she went to dump the ice cream straight into the garbage can. Or into the garbage bag. It's like, really? I can't win sometimes. Okay, so if I got two pins like this. I mean, is this even any good? This is so weird. I mean, it spins really nice. Nice. Okay. Okay, this angle is going to be very weird. I could see me having some issues with that. That one doesn't spin nearly as freely. Oh, there we go. I had, look, it doesn't spin freely because it was on backwards. So, these are meant to be on angles. So, let's see. Oh, wow. That is wicked weird. That's neat. Well, we'll see if, how well this one goes on. Everyday Glint is watching. Welcome to the stream. You just avoided 10 minutes of me grunting and groaning. Dealing with the rocket launchers, which honestly were quite horrible. So, is that kind of level? Feels like it might be. Get the wheels on, landing gear. That would have been a good opportunity for a specialized part. Hey, 
Glad you're here. Building anything tonight every day? You can see up there on the left what I'm building. This is my progress so far. Oh my goodness, now I gotta build the under mounted gun. Nope, I need that though. So far it's nice, except, yeah, you just missed 10 minutes of me grunting and groaning. These rockets, they fit into the cylinder not so well. One or two of them refuse to go in. And uh, they're brutal. I honestly, I was just going to shave them down. That's how frustrated I was with them. Okay, black how many? One. Three of the rubber bits, these rubber antennas, another tube, I've got one, try, try clip, single clip, but probably a black one, okay, maybe a rounded black, okay, clip. Well, I was lucky my cat didn't get rid of that. One black stud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. So you building anything tonight every day? Wow, this is so weird. Round clip stud. Square clip. So that's two clips offset. That's interesting. Round clip sticks out more. I would not have guessed that. This big kind of kendo stick looking thing. Okay, so that's interesting. Oh, look at that. It does stay on. Go figure. Yeah, that's a nice thing about the Lego. Dismantle them, put them away in bags and storage or whatever. And then someday you can rebuild them at will. There we go. So this tube see through? No. Okay, that's nice. So the one goes this way and the others do not. Okay, push down. Oh, come on. Be good. You dirty, dirty. I guess that's as good as it gets. Okay. Now I've got this part of the assembly. We got this. 
Everyone asks me, what are you going to do with all that Lego and the Ziplocs and the totes? And I go, rebuild it when I retire. This is tough. Oh, is there a one by two double sided somewhere there? Which feels like it's in the next step. Or was it, yeah, it was this step and I didn't get it. Okay. One piece in there. One piece clip there. Okay, now boy, that's a f finicky kind of gun there. What's your favorite series? Call of Duty, Halo, etc. Halo, et uh, good question. So when it comes to the Mega Blocks, I started just only doing the Halo Warthogs. And of course, they were miserable. You know, the 2010 sets near the beginning, quality was horrible. The bricks would literally commit suicide and fall off, jump off the whatever you're building. Uh, they were just horrible. But of course, building out, you know, the first 19 sets of Warthogs over time, it's like they got better and better, better. 2014, 15, 16 definitely got better. The modern day ones are great, of course. Um, now, what's my favorite? When it came to Mega Bloks, before I built my first Call of Duty set a couple weeks ago, I would have still said the Halo stuff, but this stuff is blowing away anything I've built with uh, Master Chief. I mean, these things are great. This is model quality stuff, some of it. You can't hear? Let's see. Oh, I'm still open. Should should be able to hear me. Oh, there you go. Looks like our time delay is a little less than it was earlier, so that's good too. Slightly, slightly warped here. I do, I do like the warthogs and stuff, but the, oh, look at this here. I'll put make sure you can see. That's one reason why I have the white desk. It makes everything pop. I love that gun. That looks amazing. Hopefully, it won't pop off easily. Now, are we going to get to build something a little more substantial here? Gray clips. Gray rounded slope or wedge, cheese wedge. Tile. Plate. Six of those. Where are they? The rounded ones. I'm late to the party when it comes to Mega. Wish they would still do TMNT. <laughs> yeah. We all kind of missed out on that. Well, you know, they are still kind of doing TMNT. They released two figures. So there's a chance they're going to go all out again on that license. I think the two figures were in the last year. So I don't think it's dead. And like in the case of, you know, Halo, they kept releasing Warthogs, you know, two a year. 
Well, there's enough interest. TMNT could definitely come back. Could definitely come back. I'm missing the shark fin piece. Ten of these. Oh, no, the Call of Duty has just been, just been a great experience. The detail level. I mean, the you know the one thing I hated about Mega was the specialized pieces. But the one thing I love about Mega is the specialized pieces. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And these two are darker, but they're still marbleized, so we'll keep them. Ten, five of these things. Now, the Call of Duty uh, vehicle builds, they're tough to find now. So, you know, depending on the country you're in, you know, anywhere from eighty to two hundred dollars, unless it's a big one like the hovercraft, and it's crazy. It's three, four, five, six hundred dollars. Those are all new, by the way. Uh, use, of course, being a different beastie. Let's see, one of those, and a one by six, and a one by six. Get in there. And this is going across five. One. That was definitely dark. Two. I can only go over four in this instruction. Four. There's another one here. Five. Step two, I'm going two more over. Wrong. I'm not going two more over. The greatest cause of failure is the failure to follow instructions. Okay, so if this is the tail, this is kind of... Oh, this is horrible right now. This is flexing like a tail. And I'm assuming it's one more sticking out. And then yet another row. And then one of these. And I'm guessing the last one. Wow, this is sketchy right now. This is the sketchiest part of the build yet. These two singles, I guess they end cap it. And then what have I missed here? Going back, one by six. One clip. I mean, if you got the money and the time, I definitely recommend hunting down some Call of Duty sets. I don't regret it. They're pricey, though.
Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. And then this. Yeah, I don't like the curvature there. But if it's going, that's where it's going. So it should be okay. Really? And that would leave one, two, three. And so that would leave seven studs. Six, seven. Okay, so the placement is right. I just got to get it all together. Wow. She's getting bigger. I think now I can probably start turning on that other camera. If I've got enough light. You don't trust what? That part of the build feels a little sketchy. Yeah, but there's more to the tail, I'm sure. Let's see what I can do about getting that camera showing us anything useful. Let's see. Uh, okay. So we have that. Nice and fuzzy. Awesome. Now, let's see what we can do. Hmm. I mean, lighting is always going to be a problem here. I'm moving this shit. Hmm, I definitely got to set up another mount. And then I could have that camera here, maybe. Uh, for my next build. I got no tilt option here. Oh, I got up and down, but that's not really my problem. Yeah. Okay, so she zoomed in all she's going to be. Low light. She's already set. We'll move her off some. <laughs> Does Richard have a lot? It's a oh, did it uh, did it did it accidentally show accidentally show all the sets? <gasps> yeah, I know. Uh, yeah, I mean, what is it? Over two hundred there. Last count. Yeah, <laughs> laughing out loud. <gasps> Yeah, I know. I, you know what? Even my wife said, I could green screen that too. I got another sheet. I could probably, not worth my trouble. 
and for every camera that I do green screen on, that's even more CPU intensive. Finish that off. Finish that off. Let's see. Okay, so that one little pin. Uh -huh. Boy, I hope I didn't lose it. I got. Oh my god, and I almost dropped it. Two. That's supposed to be a black piece. There it is. Down clip on this plate. Oh yeah, hey, you know, and a bunch of them look great. Bookcase like this. I mean, it's a great way to have them, especially when they're even and, you know, kind of, there's a lot of symmetry to them, but uh, yeah, it's too much. It is too much. I will have to renew my efforts to build more, build faster, blah, 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 blah. It's just time, right? I just need more time. But I'll tell you the truth, sitting in this chair is horrible. The chair itself is not bad. Just sitting for so long, I don't know how people do it. Okay, I can see. Okay, one piece. I was missing something super duper important. Just one. Was there not another wheel? Here's the small wheel. And a two by six. So I now need to figure out how I'm going to build this landing gear. I don't really want to hide them with the green screen. I mean, some of the new changes I'm coming up with. Some of the streams I'm going to do, um, when I'm done rejigging the lights, the lights where they are is kind of temporary. Um, the intent is that I will be able to use this as a background, as a live background, not just a static image. That was an idea to just take the stat static image, put it behind me, and then I don't have to care what's up there. But I don't want to do that. I mean, the wires, I want to hide the wires. I want to hide a lot of the lights. And I'm still investing in more lights that are different so I can have them further away but produce enough uh, white light so I can see and then you guys can hopefully see. So should I keep that third camera up with the uh, different angle right now? Two studs. Yeah, I mean, I really want to do shorter spans, but more often. So that's what I'm working towards. Some changes here. There's two two thought process processes going on right now in my head. One is to. Um, I mean, we're planning to move anyway. We've been planning to move, but to get something with dedicated studio space or or to take one of my storage units and rejig it in such a way that I can 
I kind of have a studio. Because my storage unit, while it wouldn't look as slick as this, having all my boxes as the background could be cool. Playing with different ideas. Lots of different ideas. Let's see. So if this is like this, and that pegs there, that should only go into the wheel one way. Okay, it doesn't spin as freely as I would like. Actually, it doesn't spin freely at all. But it's in there. It's not because of the rubber. It just... Yeah, that ain't so great. I'm not impressed with that. So. Yeah. You know, if I could take a dedicated room right now, I absolutely would. But with everything we got going on in the other rooms, that's not in the cards. But. With the move from last year that was delayed, planned for the new year, that uh, that could happen. And trust me, my wife wants me to have that space. Ooh, trying to keep that all tight. Look at that wheel hanging way out there in the middle of nowhere. I don't want to increase this too much. It's my book though, it's not going anywhere. So. All right, so let's see what we got left here. I got two of those. Now I'm supposed to have, there we go, two with the stud on them. And is that black or gray? That's gray. Two of those in gray. Now the printed, there we go. We got them printed. Handling this quite gingerly just to be careful. Okay, actually, I didn't have to pick that up yet. That's one build. There's another. So, what I'm seeing here is stud to the back. And, oh, that could have been bad. That could have been really bad. Those pieces, their clutch is not the greatest there. And that's, that's not a knock on them. To me, it's a, it's a design flaw, period. There's a reason Lego doesn't give us certain elements sometimes. And other guys like Mega Will. Okay, I want to say this goes all the way to there. that looks good all right those are in those are in 
Now we're flushing out the tail. I mean, it's very weak until I get more on there. All right, take it easy every day. Enjoy the rest of your evening. That's so cool. My OCD is kicking in. These panels here that they oh, see that. Depending how you push, they might kind of want to pop out. But okay, well. Two pipe joiners, two plates, one clip. Yeah, you have a good night there every day. Two bricks. Should be a one by three with the holes. Eight of these. One of those. One by six. One by eight. And the Mac Daddy. Look at that. That's a big one. Let's start with the six. The six is hanging off by one, two, I just keep slamming these in there, kind of an easy part to the build, sorry about that. I didn't realize I was drawing my hands out. Because it was a secret. I didn't want you guys to see what was really going on. And then the three. And then this set finishes at. Two pins. One plate, one clip, one of those. What else have we got going on? Oh, come on. That was a tough one. So bricks here. I always find it, that's the second time Megas had me do that on a helicopter piece. They must think it really helps with structure, sticking those pins in there. One, two, three, three and a half. One, two, three, three and a half. That's how quick you can count them out. And that leaves five exposed studs. All right, that tail looks like it's about to get a whole lot better. Two more bricks. Um, and 
another one of these up. One of these down. And then we're going to need one tile, one jumper, final brick, one of each of these, and then one traverse brick stud on two sides. Okay, so. I guess we'll leave them there. So. One more up. One brick. One brick. Ooh, stiff. Okay, so she's good there. And then one more up again. Oh my goodness. Big tail. Oh, is it two Traverse Bricks? I need them both. I need them both. One, two. This to cap it. Another one by two brick. One tile to cap it off and a, a jumper. Oh, that's the first time I've really felt that with this, that things weren't really even. That feels a little half half butted so to speak hmm I wonder how much of that is the build and how much of that is the element I could try a different piece if there's another one uh, hmm. I don't think it's the tile I think it's the build Pretty close. I'm not making excuses. So, my ninja star. Cool. One more rubber piece. Let's see, what do I need here? I need that, and I need that. And now that black, there we go. Oop, don't close yet. There might be a piece I need in you. Actually, before we go any further, you're done. Here. See that? We can make it disappear. I guess we keep that right where it is. Camera can't see it anyway, actually. That's a good enough reason to move stuff over. And we do that. And that's another tray done. So, looking good. I'll tell you what we'll do. Just a little bit more room. Awesome.
Okay, so based on where we're at now, I have this and I have this. Okay. So it's not 100% clear where I'm putting. May have to study the photography a little bit. I mean, it looks like that's supposed to be dead center. And if it is, then that's the way it is. That through there. Doesn't look like it matters which way. If I do it based on the instructions. Woo. Oh, I love how freely that spins. That's nice. That is very nice. Okay, I'm not sure why I pulled out that one piece. Was that from a previous step and I wasn't paying attention? Nope. Oh, it'll go here for now. Little rubber antenna piece. One thing I hate is they're never straight or anything. So it should be a printed US flag tile. That would go here, and that does look very nice. That looks pretty slick. Yeah, these webcams are brutal, brutal. So now what do I need? I need one tall one, one short one, two of these, and the bar. So I'm now, okay, naturally part of the previous step was I was supposed to put this on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my goodness. Oh, that is so nice. That is beautiful. And I change a position just so I could see it with the uh, compared to the instructions. So the tall one, did I leave one of each piece around? Guess I did. And a tall one like this. And then one small one. So small one actually joins them up permanently very nice this is just a one stud connection but not a big deal another one stud connection wow that looks so cool and this rod here Ooh, very nice. Here, I'll turn it on an angle. Ooh, 
even a Lego purist has got to look at this and go, wow. Unless they don't like military sets, and then there's nothing that's going to convince them. And this thing looks bigger than the Harrier jet I built. Okay. So, gray. One each way. Gray, gray. Two of those. Two tiles. Hopefully there's two left. Four rounded slope. One by three with holes. Two tiled wedge plates. Okay. Two by four. Geez, there's still some two by fours. Yeah. Haven't touched those in a while. All right. So the hold piece. Wow, I hope that gets a little stronger because that looks a little flaky. Oh, wow. Okay. Pretty cool. That is definitely different. Nice. Oh, that's just beautiful. And this clips into the rear. By the way, a solid. There's really no jiggly. That is solid. Now this clips in. Like that. Oh, I like that. feels like there's a little resistance to it moving up and down. Well, really, because there's not, you know, there's not a lot of play. But that's okay. No, that's, that's good. Very nice. Very, very, look at this. Lego, eat your heart out. Ooh, look what we got. Propeller. Big propeller piece. Unique piece I don't know anything about. For these pieces. This round something or other four L pipes one two three four so so far as far as I can tell given where I am in the builds 
I probably used a black one by two where I shouldn't. And that's okay because of what I got left over. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. And one gray. Wow, this is quite elaborate. So we have this. Trying to figure this out. This is something else. Ooh. Oh my goodness. Kind of cool, I guess, to stick these in there. Oh my God. I'm not fond of that connection. It feels just a little sketchy or almost like it would it could pop. It's in there. Now to figure out, I'm just putting them straight in. I know they're adjustable, but very satisfying click in. How are we doing on time? Oh my goodness. Okay. Okay, so that's in there. Oh, pretty good. That is pretty Pretty, pretty good. There we go. That is sandwiched on pretty tight. It's got good weight to it, too. And of course, these are adjustable. We'll do studs up. Hopefully none of these are warped. Oh my God, this guy's going to be so big. I will need to probably build a stand just so I could put this on a uh, on an angle. Seriously. Or I'll have to fold up the blades. And look at this bad boy. Like I was saying, you do have the option of bending these in somewhat for storage. I mean, that really reduces the footprint a lot. If I have any you know, issues, but it looks like garbage that way. But wow, 
wow, that's huge, huge. So, I'm looking, I'm looking, and unless I've, unless I've done something significantly wrong, I mean, I'll be checking my build over, but like those need to go somewhere. And actually, I just found where it goes. There's absolutely like those two pieces before I put that on. That's one there, because they're unique parts that I hadn't used any of. Oh, that's one. It's two. So that looks good. Oh, for sure. And look at this for sure. See, see the little things you notice. Yeah, actually, there's a whole section of the build I've not done for some reason. Let's see what I have and haven't done. So, there's that. So I got two. That's a sharp one. So that goes there. Isn't it funny how you I miss so much? The entire part of this build here. And that would explain these two not being done either. Very nice. I'll do a spot check for that later, but that's probably just one. So these are typical. Now these, I will need to check that these are never leftovers. So I'll have to look for those. But let's take a look now. See how much can we further reduce this? That's done. Nothing there. That's done. So now we're down to one tray, handful of parts, pretty much everything I expect. Except these two need to go somewhere. And they will likely stand out like a sore thumb. Something. And it has to be under. They got to be under something. Before I slam that on properly. I mean. And I don't think I've done them anywhere in here. Yeah, I'm going to reduce that for now. Pretty cool. Oh wow, right off the top. Right underneath, boom. One, two, let's take that off before I flip over. Easy peasy. Come on. Come on. Yes. Actually, I'm kind of surprised I didn't spot that, only because it's 
one of the few places it could fit. I love that slightly forward angle. Oh, she's beautiful. That is just beautiful. Of course, the uh, missile racks keep getting messed up, but. Oh, that is so nice. I'm going to have a heck of a time filming that. Oh, are you kidding me? So maybe it should be higher <laughs> because it doesn't spin. Oh my goodness. How high should that be? Let's see. At the end of book two. Okay, so that looks like it should be decently high. So let's see. Come on. See, that's high enough that it spins, but it looks like it's in the wrong place. so easy to put it on earlier okay well that's got to be it because now it's on there and it spins freely I'll tell you if I had a way to motorize that that would look so cool Those la that landing gear is a pain in the butt. I think I know of a way to improve it. Maybe. That is just so nice. Well, hang on, everyone. Wifey Poo's calling me. I don't know if that was muted, but hey, Christopher, you snuck in here at the end. Let's see, are we muted? No, we're not muted. I just literally finished Let's see. I want to take these parts out. So I always like to show what's left. Don't go anywhere, parts. No significant parts left, although I do want to double check this one part after. It's not uncommon for me to have something like that left, but it's rare. As contradictory as that might sound. And it looks like I got pretty good timing that I'm almost done because Wifey says she's coming home. So we've got the tent. We've got the skids. We've got the figures. This is pretty wicked. That is a nice, nice build. Let's see. Trying to see what happens here. Okay. I don't know if I like that any better. 
Yeah. My biggest problem is I don't have enough light under this one. Yeah, I just don't. That's just too dark. Too dark. Well, let's switch back to... Maybe even 3 cam. I don't know. Is 3 good? Uh, I don't know if I like the 3 cam on that. But yeah, wow. There's parts. There's this amazing chopper. If I could put it on an angle. Oh, look at that. Well. I don't know if that helps any, but this is a beautiful beast. Get the little command tent here. You got the skid with the ammo cans. You got four great, three great figures. That was an incredible build. Incredible. And I possibly was missing a 1x2. However, since I have a 1x2 left over, I think I might have used a block where I shouldn't have. Not a huge deal. I can work with that. I'll look through the instructions, see if I could spot the opportunities where they might have been used. But that is a great build. So I think we're going to call it. Give me a chance to take down all my green screen stuff before my wife gets home. Does this gun move? Oh, wow. And the gun move. I mean, that is so nice. That's great. That's a nice detail. Your hatch is open. You'll see all this in the review video, but... Um, you got it so the glass will open up just enough so you can see the guy. And then double so you can actually put the figures in. Ooh, so I'm setting off fireworks. Same with the rear hatch. Although it might be easier just to pop the canopy because you can. It's only in by about two studs. There you go. So you do the one. Come on, there we go. Then you got the other. Look at that. She's beautiful. You can put the two figures in, two sticks, one for the pilot, one for the gunner. There's a lot to like. You've got access to the thruster assist or whatever they call the, you know, that kind of rocket thing they got. The ram air inch, uh, ram jets there. You've got very satisfying clicks, too. You've got two play hatches here with uh, more exposure to guts, one on each side. Some nice prints. No stickers, an American flag. I tell you, there's a lot to like here. Well, I think uh, I think we're done. This is Richard Martin for Albrecht's Count. Keep an eye out for my review video. And uh, I'm Albrecht's count on virtually all the media. Uh, like, comment, subscribe on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, I'm also Albrecht's count on Twitter. And uh, Pinterest, you can find me. I'm not a hard guy to find there. All right, that's it. I hope everyone had a good night. Shazam and peace.
Peace.